Hello there. Today let's try to use API table to create a simple CRM system. As usual, we start by creating a data sheet, let's call it customers. On the data sheet itself, we create the column for name, email, phone, followed by assigned to, which the data type is the member. Follow by the status as a drop-down field, and lastly, is the remarks field. At the moment, API table not able to import the data to the existing data sheet yet, luckily, we still able to copy and paste the sample data from Excel sheet directly. From the sample data, we assign two customers to Shane and three customers to Rick. Now, here is the fun part. We're going to create two isolated views for both Shane and Rick. Both of them only able to see their own customers. We started with creating a view for Shane and we just need to apply the filter to Shane on this view. Then, we create another similar view for Rick, this time round, we apply the filter to Rick. Let's go back to the main customer's datasheet, we need to lock the assign to field, so no one except the admin able to modify it. We done with the two new views. Here is how API table work. We need to create a mirror for each view. Let's call it Shane's customers for the first mirrored view and Rick's customers for the second mirrored view. Okay. Let's apply the permission configuration to the main customer's datasheet now. No one except admin able to see the main datasheet. Now, let's apply the permission to Rick's customer mirrored view, only Rick able to access this view. Then, let's apply the permission to Shane's customer mirrored view, only Shane able to access this view. We are done here. Let's log in as Rick to take a look shall we?
As you can see, Rick only able to see the three customers that assigned to him. Let's edit some data to show that Rick is really working on the customers. How about Shane? Let's log in as Shane and take a look. As you can see, Shane only able to see the two customers that assigned to him. As usual, let's edit some data to show that Shane is work hard as well. Now, we head back to admin panel. Admin will be able to see all the data being updated by Rick and Shane. That's all for now, you are having a simple CRM with advanced permission feature. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more low-code solutions.